And they already done fold and gave it a statement. Let me tell you how to see they're in a state though. So the Fed, when you give statements, you're not gonna know who telling on you until the day of trial or the day before. You know what I'm saying? So, man, that's 28 people, man. Them people gonna go throwing them football numbers. A lot of them do they gonna be able to handle that. Now, I want to ask you, uh, you know, as far as your situation, they came down on you with wiretapping uh, your phone. And I, I like how you said, I didn't know the prime code phone could get tapped. Yeah, but, man. Um, <laughs> what, what are your thoughts now, you know, with YSL? They was able to actually, from what they say, uh, the federal government was able, or the state government was able to put tapped phones to the prison guards, give it to the prisoners to then listen in on calls while Young Thug and them was free. And then they're now using the lyrics against them and you know for court proceedings um so which goes beyond wiretapping now they're using you know what i'm what i'm rapping about if i'm if i'm even implicated in a rico case uh it could be used against me how do you feel about that because you know to me freedom of speech is still first freedom amendment. of speech yeah oh, the first amendment that's not right the price should have hit below the belt the da probably hit below the belt that ain't right because you got guys that just like you say rapping about stuff they hear in the street street stuff and what the prosecutor's doing or the DA's doing, they bring this stuff in the court to try to convince the jury, like, look, he's guilty. And you got a lot of rappers, man, that have never been in the streets, that just rapping on what they heard, and now they're getting caught up with these big uh, conspiracy cases, and they're using that, then that ain't cool, man. Hey. That ain't right. So people need to come together. And I heard they was trying to pass a law for them to keep the lyrics out. Yeah. Um, and I had just reached out to some guys where I left them, because I just been to the law heavy. But since I got out here, man, I, I just, Forgot about a lot of that stuff in chain, but <laughs> got off the books yeah, but I got to let you strike. Nah, yeah, it, you can live, you know, live your damn yeah, life, goddamn it, yeah, bro. But that's serious. That's something that um, uh, people need to because there's a lot of music fans out here. So we need to let, hey man, whatever these people are doing on on wax is on wax. But y'all taking this stuff in the court that ain't right. Because I know a guy who got convicted of that out of New York, on Rod Diggs. They they use his lyrics against him. Yeah, you know that stuff ain't cool, man. That ain't right. And you had uh, you had eight co-defendants in your situation, right? Correct. They were all released before you. Yes, everybody. Huh? Damn. Um, they have 28 in their situation. Um, do you feel out of 28 people, some of them may fold and take up? Of course. Damn. Man, they already done fold and gave it a statement. Let, let me tell you how to, see they're in a state though. So the Fed, when you give statements, you're not gonna know who telling on you until the day of trial or the day before. You know what I'm saying? So, man, that's 28 people, man. Them people gonna go throwing them football numbers. A lot of them do, they gonna be able to handle that. Nah, for real. I, I think you, you, uh, you, your lawyer was given to you, but some people have to deal with a uh, court appointed and shit. Yeah, and, yeah. You know. And the court appointed don't care. They just trying to get the DB. Listen. Shout out to Real Street Stars, nigga. Moving. Hey.